Deacon may have that bedhead look, but a pillow had nothing to do with it. These are what I would say are like my weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> John D. has been styling Clay's hair since American Idol. He showed me backstage how he gets Clay's signature spiky look. It starts with a touch of hairspray and a flat iron. I get to burn his ears quite a bit with this. Then John pulls out the heavy-duty artillery, some goob called Head Games Bizarre Twist. It's really sticky and dry. He's not kidding. This stuff is industrial grade. It just might be hurricane proof. And I use some molding paste. It's all about the molding. We're molding clay. But believe it or not, it only takes John about 20 minutes to style Clay's hair for the concert. It's like a piece of art to me. I pick and pull and twist. While all those products make for a good hair night, they can apparently make for a bad hair morning. He'll wake up in the morning, he'll walk out of the, out of the bus, and he's like, Flat to the side, it's like he's got a, like a mohawk off the side of his head, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so he's got the hair thing going for him. He's also come a long way in the clothes department. You wouldn't have caught him dead in this, say, mid-American Idol, but this man has turned into a fashion aficionado. John showed me some of Clay's concert outfits outside his dressing room. His Raleigh outfit is one of a kind. He's wearing this great suit jacket that's been custom made that's a suit on the front, but like a t-shirt in the back which rocks. It's like, it's really comfortable. He can stretch in it. He's got some movement, so when he's on stage, he can, you know, he's moving his arms around or he wants to dance, God forbid. 